thanks again for giving me a ride into work today. It's no problem at all, man. I know it's been tough. Uh, I'm here if you and Sarah need anything. Thanks, Josh. You're, you're a really terrific friend. It's not a problem at all, man. Hey, Carl. I just heard you got that promotion. And some kind of bonus. Wait, what? They said they signed the check this afternoon. Josh, it's perfect! With this, Sarah and I are gonna be fine and... Timmy can keep his kidneys! Congratulations, Carl. That's awesome. Yeah, congratulations. I have to tell the world. I have to tell my family. Quick, get the car! You hear that, world? Everything's gonna be okay! I'm sorry, I'm not a loco! No! Well, that's a shame. No! Hey Josh, you enjoying that new promotion? No. No, I don't enjoy this promotion off the coattails of my dead friend. Wait, this is about Craig? Carl. His name was Carl. And what happened to him was horrible. Eh, that was so long ago. Who can even remember these things anyway? It happened two weeks ago. He was your co-worker and friend. He got hit by a little old lady driving a sports car. I haven't even talked to Sarah since it happened. Man, you really are hung up on this, aren't you? Still hung up? Carl is dead. I watched it happen right in front of me. Oh, I think I understand. How about I introduce you to a group for people just like you? I don't know. My therapist hasn't been helping. Trust me. They all share stories, experiences. You'll have a great time. Okay, I guess I'll go. Great, the next meeting's on Friday. And if I know you the way I think I do, you'll have a great time. Okay, so yeah, this is the group. There's gonna be a little chitter chatter going on. Um, they're all just gonna come up to you one by one, tell you the stories. So, have at it. Good day. Name's Vic, I'm the night janitor. Uh, what's your name? Hi, I'm Josh. I knew a Josh once. Don't know him anymore. Last time I saw him, it was in the bathroom of a hotel. I woke up, it was wet, cold, damp. Don't know where it came from. All I knew was it needed dry. I'm trying to get some towels, and I see Josh leaning against the wall, and I say, oh, hey, Josh, how you doing? And normally, Josh would look back at me and tell me he was doing just fine, but today, today he didn't turn back. I didn't realize until much later that that was because he had a the big knife just protruding oh, from his... Boy. What kind of support group is this? Buddy, this isn't a support group. Here we just talk about all the dead bodies you've seen. And let me tell you, I have seen a lot. Earlier that day, in the hot blazing sun of the... The police could only identify a new vehicle that are in the uh, box car tournament the Boy Scouts were Miss Timmy. You see, around our town, there was Miss Timmy's mom. Was her. I can't really remember the details too well. There was a train, uh, Kiefer Sutherland and some other teenagers were chasing after us. I'm sorry, I'm just describing the plot of Stand By Me now. I've kind of run out of stories. But anyway, we got a nice person coming right up here. Hi, Josh. Sarah, what are you doing here? I've been coming here for a little bit now to talk about all the times Carl used to take me out to see dead bodies. I remember our first date. He took me to this graveyard and we stopped at this one tombstone that had all this dirt dug up around it. So, who's ready for a field trip to the morgue? No. No. Uh, it's uh, show and tell today, right? 